They're taking the humanity out of baseball. Today on SB Baseball Podcast. I was like, I have to hit the button. I forgot. <laughs> and welcome to the SB Baseball Podcast with your pals, Alan and Rapid Dave. I'm Alan. I'm Rapid Dave. What's up? You know what? Just living the dream, brother. How you doing? Oh, I'm, I was about to say the same thing, but I'm just trying not to make it a nightmare at this just point. Just trying to. Hey, yeah. I didn't say what it was. I yeah. just said it was a dream. Oh, uh, anytime we get to talk baseball, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, and so the, the topic, the subject has come up. Oh, about balls and strikes. Balls and strikes. It, it's a hot button topic. <laughs> I'm so tired of it. And and the, the big discussion is what what do we need to do about this? Because umps are, are screwing it up. It, it starts, but, you know, it's it's crazy, too, because all these parents lose their mind at, like, the, the kid level, like, little kids, and then you go to high school, and then parents are just John. And it's, it's I think it's trickled all the way up to the majors now because they can't get umpires in the game, and now they're stuck with, like, the same five guys. It's the same five guys. <laughs> it's all, well, it's still, it's we like a handful. We got Steve, of, Larry. <laughs> Angel Hernandez Angel, is one of the biggest, uh, you know, violators <laughs> here. <laughs> if you think about it, it's you're you're talking about absolutely insanity. How far outside the strike zone that it is now? It, it's and and so what do you want to do, right? Because because you had the case come up the other day. I think it was like last week. Uh, uh, the Phillies were playing the Giants, mm-hmm. and you got bases loaded, full count. Phillies are down by two. Uh, throw throws an obvious ball. <laughs> So far outside, and they call a strike, Ring him up. and everybody gets tossed, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and the Phillies end up losing the game, right? Yeah, yeah, Whereas you know you, you walk that run in because there's mm-hmm. two outs, there was mm-hmm. two outs. You walk that run in, now you're down by one. Who knows what's going to happen, right, right? right? You you have no idea what's going to happen, and then now you've completely changed it. You got guys getting tossed. Your manager's getting tossed. Oh, your Boone has the best tossed. one. He Dude, even imitated the, yeah! yeah. I was like, that was so freaking great. It is like, it was the best. Everybody's been praising him, too. It was like, best. you know, you, you deserved it. All right. To, but, to go out in glory like that. Now, I think you've got you've got two options. There, there's two options that have really been talked about with this. Okay. One, robot umpires, which they've been testing out in, in the minors. Not like Bender, Bender, or uh, right. Rodriguez back there firing right. it with yeah. a stogie and a <laughs> beer and he's cracking one off in his eye. It's not John, Johnny Five's not back yeah. there, okay? Yeah. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's just a little machine that it tells you it's balls, strikes, and it relays it to the umpire. It's just, yeah, an earpiece, and, right? And it, it relays it to the umpire and the umpire call makes the call. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like um, a millisecond later. It's not like it's immediate anyway. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's very boom. quick. Yeah. Because, I mean, now they've got the technology where when the, the, pitcher throws it not only do they tell you how fast it is but they tell you what type of pitch it is yeah which is crazy to me that they know exactly what pitch it is because yeah you got some pitches that have kind of that same movement but i figure they were just stealing signs that know. just yeah, uh, probably <laughs> <laughs> they know what's coming because they can hear what's going off in the little uh, beeper in their uh-huh. hat <laughs> but, <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> <laughs> it's not in morse code i thought it was in morse code everything is in morse code these days <laughs> um do you go ro- robot umpires, or do you go the route of having having challenges? Yeah, I, and, and and you're talking about something like 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 they have in tennis. Yeah, this is what's compared to as tennis, right? You right. have a call, the umpire calls the ball in or out to say, hey, they challenge it, and it's it's almost instantaneous. Yeah, right. It's not going to slow the game down. It, it takes 15 seconds. They have something that's that's running that says, okay, no, that's a ball. That's a strike, God. and it's quick, and it's not going to slow the game down. So do you want to go the route of having robots, or do you want to go the route of, of having challenges? But then you've also got to be smart when you use these challenges, yeah, How too, many challenges do right? you get? You know what you I mean? You get so many, and then if you – is it one of those situations where, hey, you, you get three a game, right? But if you get all three right – you, you get, get a another one, one. but if you get the one. fourth one right, you get another one, ah, right? Okay. Like maybe you kind of keep it going, like as if long you get like as six long as right. you're as long as you're right. Hey, if that umpire sucks that bad, well, if the sixth one you get right, he gets fired immediately right there in the yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. gone or loses they, or loses the limb. They bring in a fan from the stands from like right field <laughs> that's been heckling all night. It's like, come on over here, buddy. Get, get over you're here. in here. Yeah, hey, yeah, it's hey, terrible. Drunky, come on, <laughs> drunky. You're in. He's just back there, kind of winging back for. Uh yeah man I mean give me the robots obviously I don't I don't I don't want the challenge they've already fixed a lot of issues right games are so much quicker smoother fluid as all get out this year has been amazing to watch and the only thing really gumming it up and screwing it up is the umpires, is the umpires. and when they have to go to New York <laughs> if there's a play at the plate and uh, for the Rangers <laughs> it, it's, it doesn't matter if they, <laughs> if they have the ball 
the the other team is safe. If they're the ones sliding in the home, they're out. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It does not but yeah, matter. that. Uh, the umpiring, the officiating has been the biggest drawback this year, and it's always it's and it's been the problem all season. And you're talking about how, you know, like here recently there was a was it Justin Turner was at bat, you know, and he got rung up on a ball that was five and a half inches outside, outside, and he had a magnificent at bat. I think he got it, like it was a ten pitch count or something like that. Yeah, you know, all that for nothing. He's just working the count, and the the guys behind the, the guy behind the plate's like, I got to meet the boys here at the bar. Got, like 15 go. minutes, man. I got, I got a reservation at Applebee's. <laughs> <laughs> and so, you know, there's there's some that uh, they talked about. Was it Las Diaz or something like that? That's what I have here on YouTube. It's a 20 missed call game. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So I, it, you, you're thinking about all this stuff and how bad it is. And I'm not saying, yeah, let's a robot. You know, that's that, that's what you get from the old timers and the uh, the purists or whatever. I don't, ro- just put a robot back there. But like, no, you can have a person. But – Let's get let's get it right. Do you want it right, or do you want it like oh I'm just all willing? If but, that s happens in the postseason and it costs your team a playoff uh, win uh, uh, to move on to the next round, costs you the World Series. It's five and a half inches outside. If it's a strike, you win. If it's a ball, you lose. You know what I mean? And it's five and a half inches outside. Right. Come but, on. But then you get into like those borderline. Like you have those pitchers that that. Paint the corners that are right there well, on that fine. on, as that, long as it's on, on that, that border. Yeah. I'm fine I, with that I, because the robot. I go back fix and it. forth. Right? Is the robot going to fix it? Yeah, that because it's technically if it's painting the corners, it's on the box. Right, but yeah. Yeah, it's in the stretch. Cer- certain little liberties that you could take as a, as a, as a pitcher, um, as you, as a batter. You want to encourage, like, hey, if it's close, swing the, swing the bat. Who was right. it that used to always like every time there was a pitch he just jumped out like that? Was it A Rod or is it uh, Jeter, Nomar Garcia Parra, something like that? I don't and, he, know. and it was like right down the middle, and that damn umpire be like ball, <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> so it's it, they've had problems for a long time, and but you're right if they listen if he's calling inside all night and it's going both ways, he's calling it straight up, right? That's fine. And your ones you're that are ta- close, you're that's... talking an inch. You're not five and a half inches. Right. And, and Come that's, on. That's why I almost kind of want to lean towards the the challenge. Uh huh. Right. Because it it adds a kind of a new aspect to the game with the challenges and I, I, I think don't you're know. Hopeful let's let's that have some fun. I think you're right? hopeful that it's less than five challenges a game because you know it gets out of hand. Like you know what I'm saying? Like how many pitches are you really going to challenge? They're going to challenge at least hey, five a game. Hey, but but here's the thing though. But if you, it's you like got, tennis, it's, you, it's you, fine. you got you got two outs. Nobody's on base. And they throw one, and yeah, it's out of there. But you know what, Jackwagon? No one else is on base. We're not challenging that one, right? I'm going to save that challenge for later. Right, right. You're right. not doing anything because obviously you just pretty much struck out, right? Or you walked. I'm not scoring a run either way. God. But just, I don't know. I'm not completely sold on the um, robot umpires. So you're going to go. Like, you're going to go challenges, and I'm going robo umpires. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's I'm fine with that. At least there's a little bit, you know, difference here. Because <laughs> like, and the thing is, like, and. A lot of the problem is is just because yes we we notice it more yeah. because of the way society is now and the way information gets out there. Uh-oh. Well, I mean the the games are you can you can watch you can fire it up at any time and watch a game. I was like, and where, literally, where, I was like, where are you going with this? I was like, dude, this is not going to get a poli- <laughs> we're not going to get political. No, no, no. But like literally, an umpire blows a call. Two minutes later, it's uploaded on TikTok. Right, right, right. Right? and Or and, YouTube if you're right, over YouTube, the age of TikTok. 25. Hey, hey, for you old, it's on Facebook. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're still consuming reels on Facebook, you know, that's you're probably not even listening to this. <laughs> I mean, we do put this on Facebook, right? No. So, no? no. Okay, never mind then. Uh, but... It, it, <laughs> everything's out there so much more. You see it more often. Yeah. You've got, like, back when we were watching baseball, they didn't have that grid on the screen, right? No. I, you know what? I think Fox <laughs> was the first one that brought up, like, the, the box and then the ball going it. You know what right. I mean? Like, they highlight it. Almost like the puck like for the, hockey. Uh, dude, the glow puck was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't but know. It's, it, it's because we've advanced so much and we, we've the improved the on-screen experience. Yeah. And because you can watch. Back then, you watched, whatever, you watched your local team. Yeah. Now, if you had cable, you could watch the Braves and the Cubs. Yeah. <laughs> now, with cable and an antenna, you can't watch your local teams. Thanks a lot, Ballys. Yeah, in, in Texas. Yeah, it's it's kind of everywhere, I think. That, yeah, I, I, I don't think know that's everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah, it's just. <laughs> Thanks a lot. It, it's, it's, it's out there a lot more because yeah. it's, it's such a smaller world because of technology. Yeah. 
the, they, they the used to just complain about like word of mouth, like at the bar or something like that. They, right. Did you see that guy? You know, whatever. Now it's everywhere. Millions yeah. of views. And it, it really is just like crazy how, like if you're sitting there, like say on Twitter or something, and it just, you notice something and you look down and then all of a sudden, pff, I mean, there's videos, screenshots. Everybody 20 just people have bonkers. uploaded it with it within two minutes yeah. and it's everywhere. Yeah. So. I meant to tell you this uh, also, umpires missed a hundred or excuse me. I, I didn't see the two. 1,000. 28 calls the week of August 6th. Okay. These were the 10 worst called strikes. Of course, there's a video of it on Twitter. So you're, that, that's too many for a week. A thousand but, but, missed okay, calls. But they, but they say they missed, but like how close were those? I, right? Were all those five inches outside the strike zone? Okay. <laughs> now we have a problem. Or are some of them like right there on the border? Like, oh, no, that's a missed one, right? Yeah. Because we want to critique everything so closely now. We, yeah. want, we want people to call games perfectly. And if you make one questionable call, you're awful. You suck at your job, and you need to be fired. And let's get drunky out of the stands and on the field. Now, if it's 1,028, but he's called the entire game that way where it's like he's given insight. You know, if it's equal to both teams, I think I'm I'm on board with that because I've always been. What are you going to complain about? If he calls it that way the entire game, yeah. that's just how he's – that's where his feet are in the dirt. <laughs> he thinks he's I mean, behind the plate, but he's, he's lined up that far off. <laughs> I mean, I, I, get, I, I know me and you have uttered the lines out on the softball field. Well, that was a ball for the other team, but that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Guess I'm buying beer next week. Yeah, Jesus. Rolls it in there like he's bowling or something. Yeah, strike three. Oh, son of a... All right. Yeah. All right, that's cool. But yeah, let, let us know what you guys think. Robot umpires, yay, nay. We challenging everything. What are we doing? Big fan. Big Shoot fan. us over an email, strikeupbeer at gmail.com. Make sure you guys hit that like, follow, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And if you're feeling extra nice, give your old pals a five-star review. But make, make us feel good about ourselves. How's that sound? Need a little something. Need something. The week. It's, I might not make it if I don't get it. I don't know, man. <laughs> but hey, guys, thanks so much for watching and listening. As always, I'm Alan. I'm Dave. We'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. Not gonna, not gonna make it. Not gonna just, make it. We're touch and go, man. Thanks for listening to the SB Baseball Podcast.